Do you get yourself into the habit of learning a language for like a day, a week, two weeks, but inevitably it always just ends? Maybe you get distracted, maybe you get bored, whatever the case may be, you can't seem to keep your language learning habits. Keep watching to find out three reasons why your language learning habits don't work and what to do instead. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jamie. I'm a language coach and my specialty is helping online language learners find success in their language learning, no matter what that looks like to them. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new no BS language learning video every Wednesday. The first reason why your language learning habits don't work is because you're making your language learning habits it's too much of a priority. Like anything else with language learning, this has a lot of nuance to it, but what I see a lot of people doing is thinking that their language learning is like the top. Like they have to achieve their language learning habits, whatever they look like every single day or else they failed. Is it important to make your language learning habits a priority? Yes, but a priority, not the priority. And it doesn't help that there are so many voices on the internet that say you have to stick to it every single day because that's what, you know, strong, empowered people do. And, you know, you just gotta hustle and you gotta do all this stuff. And that's, you know, you're super motivated and you need to stay motivated every single day or else you fail. So inevitably, when a language learner, you know, sets these habits for themselves and they gasp, they like have an off day or they just, they get distracted or they're tired or whatever it is and they are not able to fulfill their daily habit. They just crumble. They feel really, really guilty. They feel like they're lazy or they're procrastinating. They're not smart enough. They're not good enough. Maybe they can't learn a language and then a whole lot of like mindset issues come up and it's, it's, it's a horrible cycle, honestly. None of that is helpful in any way. The second reason why your language learning habits don't work is that you're either being too flexible or too strict. Obviously, everybody's experience and needs are different, so it really it's really up to you, you know, how strict or flexible your language learning habits are, but it's something that, you know, you need to learn how to approach over time. On the one hand, some language learners are too flexible, and so they're kind of like the opposite of the first point where they say, "Oh, you know, I decided that I wanted to go hang out with my friends and, you know, not learn my language, which by the way, that's not a bad reason to not study. Being social is definitely an important part of your life, but I digress. But more commonly, to be fair, I see more language learners being way too strict with their language learning habits. A lot of language learners set really bulletproof habits and strict rules that they have to achieve this thing they have to study every single day they have to commit you know an hour every single day to their language learning and then when they can't do that again they crumble and don't worry i say this from personal experience i've absolutely done this before so you are not alone it can be really, really fun and easy when you're motivated in the moment, you know, January 1st or the beginning of the month or whatever time frame it is, and set yourself really lofty language learning habits that just aren't something that you'll be able to stick to in two weeks, in a month. Like anything language learning, habits are pretty nuanced and they can shift and change and still be consistent and you really have to learn how to be responsive to your own needs with your language learning habits and setting language learning habits that work for you long term and not just in any given moment. And the third reason why your language learning habits don't work is because you are depending on your habits and nothing else. Habits are important. Yes, they are. Absolutely, I agree with that concept. But what are they important for is the question because I see a lot of language learners thinking that their language learning habits is what's going to keep them consistent in the long term. Um, I mean, that might work for some people, but not for everybody. Not everybody can say, oh, I have this to do every day and that's good. That's what's gonna keep me going. It's not how it works for me at all. This is a generalization, of course, like anything with language learning, it's kind of a generalization. Your habits won't work if you don't have a reason to keep them up. In other words, a big reason why a lot of language learning habits don't work is because language learners set habits for the purpose of setting habits and not for the purpose of any why or motivation or anything like that. The habit 
isn't the end goal. The habit is what you use to get to the end goal. If you don't define that end goal, then you've got no reason to keep going. Do you relate to any of these reasons? Let me know in the comment section below. Now we know three reasons why language learning habits don't work. What do we do instead? If you relate to the first point that you are making language learning too much of a priority in your life, it's time to sit down and think about what your priorities are and where they lie in your list of priorities. So instead of telling yourself that language learning is your number one priority and then feeling really guilty and crappy when another priority comes up, it's time to think about where in your list of priorities language learning is. Are you treating language learning as something that has to be done absolutely no matter what? It doesn't matter what else is going on in your life, language learning has to happen. Or are you allowed to miss a day if you're sick? Is it okay to put it to the side because your child needs you? Is it okay to put it away when you're having a busy week at work? Do you have other hobbies and interests that may be more important to you? These are all examples of priorities that are completely valid to have above language learning. And it's totally okay to prioritize other things no matter what they are over language learning and be okay with putting it to the side temporarily and picking it back up when you can, when you want to, when it makes sense for your life. It's not unreasonable to skip a day or a week or a month. It really depends on you, your life, your goals, and your priorities. Going back to the second reason, are you too strict or too flexible with your habits? Like I said, I've generally seen language learners being way too strict. So what do you do instead? Generally, this is pretty similar to, you know, making language learning too much of a priority, but consider, you know, how strict your language learning habits need to be. A lot of times this looks like language learners not being responsive to their own needs. They hold themselves to these standards that there's no reason why they cannot, you know, achieve the habits that they've set. Like it doesn't matter how tired they're feeling, how busy they're feeling, how stressed out they're feeling because they have set a strict habit and there's no reason why they should fail that habit. And then when they inevitably do, there comes those crappy guilty feelings again. So just like the first point, consider thinking about how strict or flexible you need your habits to be, how strict or flexible you want your habits to be. Journal about it, pray about it, meditate about it, think about it, whatever works for you just to think about where language learning sits in your life. Think about how important it is to be strict with your habits. And no matter how strict you decide to be, it's totally valid. It's up to you. Language learning can absolutely be the end all be all if that's what works for you, or it can be like not a priority at all. It's all up to you and your needs. And a third mistake, depending 100% on your language learning habits and nothing else. A lot of this time, this can feel like being really bored and uninterested in the monotony of your habits. Like if you're doing the same thing every day for the purpose of doing your habits and achieving your habits, but the actual language learning is not interesting, so you're just, it's, it's not gonna work out. Plus, the monotony of language learning just becomes another thing on your to-do list for life, which is you know, miles long, obviously. So you end up feeling bored, then guilty that you're bored and guilty that you don't want to stick to it. And you're, you're like just fighting yourself. You're fighting the urge that you have to make it more interesting or just to not do it at all. Instead of sticking 100% to your habits and nothing else, think about the thing that excites you and motivated you to learn a language to begin with. We tend to see language learning as a job. We tend to see it as something that if you miss a day, then there's something wrong with you. And I see a lot of people talking like that on the internet. It's okay to take a break and skip a day, miss a day, whatever it is that you need to do. And there is nothing wrong with that. If you're not feeling excited and motivated by your language learning on a day-to-day -day basis, then something needs to change. Obviously that excitement will ebb and flow over time, but there there should be some level of consistency. And if that's the case, consider, you know, what it is that you're excited about in your language learning and work towards that. So if you're really excited to watch a movie in your target language, work towards that, make that your habit. If you're really excited to have conversations, start having small conversations, even with just like a chat bot. It all depends on what works for you and your goals. But as a general rule, 
if you're struggling with this and you need something more than just like black and white habits. Language learning is not objective. It is subjective. It depends entirely on you. Want to dig deeper and more intentionally into things like your motivation, expectations, things like that. I help clients every day learn how to set great habits for themselves, great goals that give themselves motivation long term. If that sounds good to you, click the link below in the description to learn more about my 90 day self paced coaching program. And if you like this video, check out these videos. I come out with a new one every Wednesday. Other than that, have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. <sighs> wow, I'm really pale. Who knew? I did. <laughs> oh.